गाइज इट इज़ अ वेल नोन फैक्ट दैट वेन एवर एनी मशीन इज वर्किंग इट टेंड्स टू कंज्यूम अ सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर इट सेल्फ एंड दिस फिनोमिन इज नोन एज आइडल ड्रॉ और सेल्फ पावर कंजम्पन सम पीपल ऑल्सो कॉल इट एज नो लोड करंट और स्टैंड बाय करंट एंड गाइज आई हैव सच अ ब्यूटिफुल मशीन राइट हियर बिफोर मी दिस इज द आशा पावर एम पी पी टी एंड द मॉडल राइट हियर इज नियॉन ए टी एच वी and guys in the past i have measured idle draw of various inverters be it from utl or microtech and after watching those videos a gentleman on my channel commented that sir we have these various mppts connected overnight and in the absence of solar energy these things might end up consuming a lot of power from the battery bank and hence draining the battery because i can see that uh, these uh, mppts do contain various components for example mosfets coils you can see that the display is always working and there are a variety of led indicators which keep glowing all throughout the night so i feel that the doubt that is gentleman has is very very valid and to help you with this kind of uh, situation i have decided to do a live power consumption test that is the idle draw or standby power consumption test on this asha power mppt first let's start by learning how the wiring works so here i have connected my super battery this is my home built my hand built lithium ferrophosphate that is lifeco 4 battery the specification is 12.8 volt into 18 ah and the power is going to flow using these xt90 connectors and first the power is going to go in this pzem015 dc energy meter and this kind of meter is really very accurate as we found out in the previous videos so the energy flow will start from here it will go through the meter and then using these additional xt90 connectors it's going to go in the asha power mppt and to prevent any kind of confusion guys let me show you i have not connected any kind of solar panel nor there is any kind of mains connection so here the equation is really simple what we have is only two variables one is the battery one is the asha power mppt and of course this is the measuring device all right guys if you're interested in knowing more about any of these particular devices be it the super battery be it the meter or there is asha power mppt itself then variety of review as well as affiliate buying links are available in the video description in the first comment or in the view product section right over here if you feel like buying any of the stuff please consider using my affiliate section all right so i think the connections over here are pretty accurate and easy to understand now let's turn on this uh, particular meter using this particular switch so i'm going to press this thing to turn on the display what you can do is you can use your own buttons that you have available right here below this video and these buttons are known as the like and subscribe buttons so at the count of 3 let us both press our own respective buttons shall be okay so here we go 3 Two, one, and there we turn on the display. And as you can see, the battery voltage right over here is 13 volts, and the power consumption, or you can say the standby or no load current of this device, is pleasantly very low. This is just 130 milliampere. Okay, so that uh, thing we'll have to keep in mind. This is not amperes, or this is not even 1.3 amperes. This is just 130. Eight or one hundred and thirty-four milliampere. That is zero point one three ampere. All right. And uh, if you multiply these two values, then the product comes to one point seven watt. All right. So here I am uh, really happy to report that uh, these kind of MPPTs consume very limited amount of power, especially when compared to heavy duty inverters or other devices. Because guys, inverters uh, themselves have really heavy components. For example, they have this heavy duty transformer. they have variety of pcbs and displays and hence their idle draw is slightly higher but over here we can see that the idle draw is very negligible and you generally should not worry about your battery draining overnight just because you have a bunch of mppt solar charge controllers connected to your system let's uh, verify the accuracy of these devices by focusing on the display for a little bit and as you can see the voltage shown right over here is 13.1 and the thing shown over here is 13 so i think yeah that is a very acceptable accuracy and the idle draw is under 2 watts that's around 1.77 watts 
Guys, uh, on my channel, I have measured idle draw or self power consumption across various brands, across various inverters, be it from UTL or be it from Microtech. If you want to learn more about idle draw of inverters, then a bunch of video thumbnails will pop up right here. And if you're interested in, in knowing more about this device by checking out its review, then the video thumbnail will pop up right here. All these thumbnails are directly clickable. You can click on them, jump to those videos and learn something new today. That's it for this little video guys. I hope you like it. Take care and have a nice day.